Good morning dear students how are you all Dear students today we are going to start with lesson number 5 mineral resources of india In this chapter we are going to come to know about the types of mineral resources what are the mineral resources and how should we conserve them So in this chapter we are going to learn about the minerals and mining we are going to classify the types of minerals we are going to name the different minerals that are found in india and we are going to discuss the ways in which the minerals can be conserved dear students you know our earth provides us with a number of resources such as air water and minerals these minerals are as important natural resources they can be defined as naturally occurring substances found on the earth bachche ye jitne bhi resources hote hain na they are found on the earth right so they are the naturally occurring resources on the earth you know we use different products made from minerals every day जैसे कि इन आर डेली लाइफ यूज़ अ कार मेड आउट ऑफ अ मिनरल राइट यू यूज़ द मशीनरी इट इज़ मेड आउट ऑफ सम मिनरल्स यूज अ मोबाइल फोन माइट बी मेड आउट सम ऑफ द मिनरल्स इज आर क्लियर सो यू शुड बी रिमेंबरिंग योर कुकिंग योर टेंसिल्स योर ज्वेलरी दैट योर मदर इज वेयरिंग योर मशीन्स दे आर ऑल मेड अप ऑफ सर्टन मिनरल्स सो डी आर स्टूडेंट्स टू रिमेंबर The things that we use in our daily life are made up of some or the other minerals. Like be it a machine, be it a vehicles, be it our utensils, all are made up of some or the other hard minerals called the metals. Dear students, these minerals are of a great use in our daily life. Metals are extracted from minerals found deep inside the earth. and we call it mining jab hum log minerals ko extract karte hain from deep inside the earth we call this process as mining dear students let's talk about the minerals and the ores you know earth surface is made up of rocks which are composed of different substances called the minerals the minerals that we get from the earth we extract from the earth are known as the ores they are found in the rocky portion of the earth but the minerals are important raw materials for construction and even for manufacturing the industries they are of great help minerals even play a very important role in our day to day life like we use the cars the utensils like buildings like computers like you could be saying the mobiles they all are made up of some or the other minerals even early man used the tools made up of rocks and stones do remember that see most metallic and non metallic minerals are found near the surface of With the earth students you know minerals are buried deep inside the earth and the surface of earth is dug deep hame apni earth ke surface ko bahut zyada deep dig karna padta hai agar hamare ko in minerals ko extract karna hai you know the process of digging out the valuable minerals from the earth is called as mining yes we call it mining see the bulldozers working there they are extracting the minerals aur bachche jo minerals hote hain na wo hamare ko bade raw form mein milte hain impure form mein milte hain and we call them as ores you should always remember the place or location from where the mineral is extracted is known as a mines is that clear you might have heard about the coal mines about the gold mines about the bauxite mines isn't it so yahan par minerals ko extract kiya jata hai now dear students let's discuss about some types of minerals you know all the minerals are not found in the pure form सारे के सारे मिनरल्स हमें प्योर फॉर्म में नहीं मिलते हैं द इम्प्योर फॉर्म ऑफ मिनरल्स इज नोन एज ओर जो इम्प्योर फॉर्म होती है उसको हम ओर बोलते हैं बच्चे मिनरल्स कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज मेटेलिक मिनरल्स एंड नॉन मेटेलिक मिनरल्स जो मेटेलिक मिनरल्स होते हैं दे कंटेन सम मेटल्स बच्चे दे कंटेन द शाइन एंड वट आर द एग्जाम्पल्स आयरन कॉपर मैगनीज गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर 
और जो नॉन मेटालिक मिनरल्स होते हैं दे डू नॉट कंटेन द मेटल्स दे आर सॉफ्ट लाइक कोल लाइक माइका पेट्रोलियम एंड लाइम स्टोन सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स डू रिमेंबर मोस्ट ऑफ द मेटालिक एंड नॉन मेटालिक मिनरल्स आर फाउंड अंडर द अर्थ क्रस्ट some minerals like petroleum and natural gas are found very deep inside the earth but you inko hum extract karna padta hai even the ocean bed is a treasure of minerals hamara jo ocean bed hai it is a treasure of minerals now let's see the kinds of minerals minerals as i told you are generally of two types metallic minerals and the non metallic minerals metallic that has shine non metallic that does not have shine and are soft and they are present in the form of ore ore do remember is a mineral that contains a metal in such quantities so that when extracted can even give us profit and generally it is in the raw form the ore may contain many minerals Metallic minerals are the minerals from which the metals are extracted. They can be aluminium, it can be iron, copper, magnesium, zinc, even it can be silver, nickel, aluminium and gold. So these are lustrous, they are shiny and they are the metallic mineral. Metallic minerals cannot be used directly after extraction. आई टोल्ड यू जब भी हम इनको पहले एक्सट्रैक्ट करते हैं माइंड से दे आर इम्प्योर दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ओर्स इनको हमें रिफाइन करना पड़ता है इन टू मेटल्स फॉर द यूज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सम ऑफ द मेटल्स लेट स्टडी अबाउट आयरन आयरन इज क्वाइट हार्ड एंड ड्यूरेबल इट इज यूज टू मेक यू टेंसिल्स टूल्स एंड इंजन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स एंड इवन फॉर ब्रिजेस हम लोग जब भी घर बनाते हैं तो आयरन बास आयरन रॉड्स डालते हैं इजेंट इट राइट इसी तरह से कुछ यूटेंसिल्स होते हैं जो कि आयरन के बनते हैं हमारी जितनी भी मशीन्स होती हैं वो आयरन की बनती हैं राइट right? इतना ही नहीं कोई इंजन है जैसे कार का इंजन हो गया ट्रक का इंजन हो गया दीज आर ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ आयरन डू रिमेंबर आयरन इज फाउंड इन झारखंड बिहार उड़ीसा एंड मध्य प्रदेश सो डी आर स्टूडेंट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट आयरन Iron is one of the most important minerals that is found in the earth's crust. We can use machinery, we can make tools, medical equipments, agricultural implements, vehicles and even the household articles from iron. See how helpful the iron is. Even it is used in railways in making the buildings and in making the bigger bridges. Iron rods is being used because they are very strong. Let's talk about iron ore. So iron is extracted from iron ore and is found in the earth's crust. Dear students, iron is used in iron industry and even in the steel industry. It is widely used metal. Let's see now where it is found in India. Major iron ore reserves in India are in Orissa, in Karnataka, in Jharkhand, in Chhattisgarh. in telangana in andhra pradesh now dear students let's talk about bauxite you know bauxite is an ore of aluminium aluminium is lighter and it is a good conductor of electricity it is even used to make the electrical goods and aircrafts which are why aircrafts because it is quite lighter metal so that's why even for aeroplane to fly in the sky we want some lighter materials lighter minerals so that's why we use aluminium there you know aluminium is found in maharashtra bihar karnataka kerala and chatisgarh similarly let's talk about copper you know copper can be molded into any shape and copper is also a very good conductor of electricity that's why it is used to make electric wires and even the utensils because it's get hot quite soon you know it is found in rajasthan charkhand uttarakhand and west bengal lastly 
I'm talking about the most expensive metal and that is gold. It is expensive metal and we make ornaments out of this. See the rings, the bangles, the earrings, the chain that we make are you made out of gold. And these are found in Kolar and Hatti gold mines in Karnataka and Ramagiri gold fields in Andhra Pradesh. Now dear students, let's talk about aluminium. Aluminium is light, flexible, rust-proof metal. Do remember, this aluminium is used for making utensils. It is used for making airplanes, for ships, for the aluminium bodies and even for the electric wires. This metal is also widely used and is a substitute for wood in furniture makings. जब हम फर्नीचर बनाते हैं ना बच्चे तो फर्नीचर आजकल वुड की जगह एल्यूमिनियम का भी बनता है एंड बॉक्साइट इज अ ओर ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम यू नो बॉक्साइट इज फाउंड इन उड़ीसा इन तमिलनाडु इन छत्तीसगढ़ इन गुजरात लेट सी सम मोर एग्जांपल्स सी द रेलवे ट्रैक दैट इज मेड फ्रॉम आयरन द कॉपर वायर्स द गोल्ड रिंग्स दैट इज मेड फ्रॉम गोल्ड an aeroplane with the aluminium body because aluminium is quite light now dear students let's talk about the non metallic minerals non metallic minerals do not have their own shine you should remember they are soft and they are not ductile ductile means they cannot be made into the wires you should remember the coal petroleum mica are some non metallic minerals found in india and india is the largest producer of mica in the world you should remember when we talk about coal you had already taken up that there are four types of coal anthracite bituminous coal lignite and peat dear students let's talk about the coal you know coal is known as black diamond yes because coal is widely used coal is used as a fuel to generate electricity coal is also used in the thermal power stations and even earlier the railways used to run on coal dear students coal is found in jharkhand bihar and madhya pradesh and maharashtra mines like bukaro mines rani ganj korba and jharia are some major coal mines Secondly we talk about petroleum petroleum is known as a liquid gold and petroleum is used in the form of petrol kerosene cooking gas and even the paraffin wax dear students oil refineries of chennai assam and visakhapatnam We have the oil fields in Ankaleshwar in Gujarat, Bombay High in Maharashtra, and Nahar Khatia in Assam. Lastly, we talk about mica. Dear student, do you remember? India is a largest producer of mica. Mica is used to make electrical goods, radio sets, and even paints. And it is widely found in Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and Andhra Pradesh. Dear students the non metallic minerals are the minerals that have no metallic shine and they can break easily because they are really very soft dear students you should be remembering it that sand coal gypsum petroleum and limestone are the examples of non metallic minerals non metallic minerals are helpful in many ways like gypsum is largely used in making cement when we talk about coal coal is a really important mineral because it is a source of energy coal is used for heating coal is used for in uh, you could be saying like in the thermal power stations to generate power isn't it so this is a very very important mineral you let's see some of the major coal reserves in india We find coal in Jharkhand, in West Bengal, in Chhattisgarh, in Madhya Pradesh. Basically, in Central India, we find petrol uh, coal. 
Now let's talk about the crude oil or petroleum. When I'm talking about crude oil or petroleum, this is again one liquefied material, mineral that is available. It is found in thick dark form in the deep interior of the earth and under the sea beds. But a very deep oil wells have to be constructed in order to extract the crude oil and petroleum from these oil reserves. And this is a very very lengthy process. Most of the Indian oil reserves are at Mumbai High on the western coast. Let's see where we find petroleum. We find petroleum in Assam, Digboi in Assam. Kambhat in Gujarat, Ankaleshwar in Gujarat and Kalol in Gujarat. So these are the places we generally find petroleum. You know the extracted crude oil or petroleum is then refined in refineries. बच्चे फिर इस पेट्रोलियम को हम लोग रिफाइन करते हैं रिफाइनरीज में एंड एंड लेट सी द मेजर पेट्रोलियम रिफाइनरीज इन इंडिया द मेजर पेट्रोलियम रिफाइनरीज इज इन मुंबई चेन्नई कोची मैंगलोर एंड गोवा डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड बी रिमेंबरिंग दिस पेट्रोलियम इज देन मेड अवेलेबल टू अस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सम बाय प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक क्रूड ऑयल it is there in the form of kerosene in the form of petrol in the form of diesel or in the form of the paraffin wax right so these are some of the by products of crude oil so this is available to us in in its by product form then it is refined petroleum is used as fuel in cars and is commonly in the form of petrol or diesel dear students since nature has gifted us with many natural resources it is our duty now to protect them to conserve them you know some of the natural resources like sun like wind like water they continue to exist and can be reused but inko hum bar bar reuse kar sakte hain so isi karan se hum inko renewable resources bolte hain because these resources can be used again and again and ye khatam bhi nahi hoti hain they are always made available to us but some resources like minerals they are available only in the limited quantities so bachche due to this reason we have to use them very judiciously and these resources are called as non renewable resources we must conserve our non renewable resources and use them very carefully hamare ko inko bahut carefully use karna hai taki ye resources hamare aaj ke liye bhi present ho aur hamari future generations ke liye bhi available rahe aisa na ho ki hum sare ke sare resources ko aaj hi utilize kar le aaj hi khatam kar de so bachche you should use them very carefully as they take a long long time to form so which is the practice of reducing reusing and recycling do you remember the three r's isn't it reduce reuse and recycle so we should always use this three r's to preserve our natural resources you should remember that instead of using petroleum and coal too much हमारे को कुछ ऑल्टरनेटिव सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी पे शिफ्ट कर लेना चाहिए हमने देखा है ना बहुत सारी ऑल्टरनेटिव सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी होती हैं लाइक सोलर एनर्जी इज देयर विंड एनर्जी इज देयर वाटर एनर्जी इज देयर वी शुड बी शिफ्टिंग ओवर टू देम सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स रिमेंबर द मोटो री यूज रिड्यूज एंड रीसाइकल देन ओनली वी कैन कंजर्व आवर मिनरल्स वी कैन कंजर्व आवर नॉन रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेज Thank you.